fall this year. It's Melon Head Mama. I'm back after a short little break. I had to go do me some August long camping, if you know what I mean. So Hamilton game, a little bit odd for me. First of all, I wasn't able to watch it because I'm out, I'm camping, so all we got there is radio. And I mean, you do what you have to, much better on TV or live. But defense, not really as good as we normally have them. And the offense, I don't know, something was just a little weird for me there too. But Luca Kanji, holy cow, does he ever deserve that special teams award? Because seven field goals in one game, just one down from one of my all-time favorites, Mr. Dave Ridgway, Mr. Grey Cop 89, Robo Kicker, twice in his career had eight field goals in one game. Mr. Kanji, we got a robo kicker back. Woo! I am so proud of my men right now. No, we didn't beat Montreal, but holy cow, guys, what a game. We really maybe needed to come out a little bit stronger in the first half. But did, I don't know if you guys all know this, but Mr. Double D, Darian Durant, everyone thought he had the flu this whole time. He's really sitting there playing ball like that 442 passing yards with an infection going on in his intestines. Like, I don't think we can ask any more from the guy. And quite frankly, I think, you know, considering even right before the halftime, Kanji missed a field goal that was, poof, could have been momentum killer for the night because it was run all the way back, intercepted, and touchdown Montreal. But instead, we kept marching, got one more field goal before the first half, and then came out as strong as can be. I've always, always said that if you're down less than 20 going into second half, you got, it is CFL, you got a decent shot of coming back as long as you have your determination and your strength. Down more than 20, still possible, but tough sluggards. And yay, 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 yay. These men, they proved to be soldiers in that second half. No, they didn't come out with a big W. <laughs> right down to the last throw and the last play it just it hit the turf we didn't make it but 442 passing yards with an infection in your stomach awesome 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 go double d anyway 169 yards receiving for mr Dressler, wow, you are awesome for considering just a couple years ago you got the Rookie of the Year award in 07, and now look at you, every team wants you. Thank goodness we have you. Come on, man, that unnecessary roughness call against Kate's. Are you kidding me? That was so completely unfair. Do you blame the guy? Of course he's going to fight back. He gets his helmet ripped off. He's getting whacked in the head. What do you expect? These are men we're dealing with. I'd be pissed too. Anyways, letting that one go, I will say, I do believe the difference in the game was all the penalties we took. We took some really, really, really stupid ones. Gave away, I don't know how many yards or fields or just completely insane. Uh, one of our penalties cost us an interception, which then created a touchdown from Montreal right there. What's the score now? Um, but regardless, fought like soldiers in the second half and really showed that you're a very passionate team, very passionate men who are going to, doesn't matter if they're down in the first half, they're going to come out, doesn't matter if they're sick, doesn't matter if they're battling with an infection. You know, we've got solid, solid, solid men on our team. So next week, BC, uh, they are due for a win. They're one in five. We just got to come out stronger than we did on Montreal in the first half. We can't just play second half football. We got to play four quarters of football and there's no reason why we should be giving BC that W. So come on boys, let's kick some lion's ass.